Hey guys, today we're talking Pedal Commander. All things Pedal Commander and how it'll improve your ride from daily driver to something you cruise around on the weekends. The throttle response when you install one of these, game changing. So basically to get into this, this thing will interrupt the signal from your electronic throttle pedal and it's gonna be adjustable where you can go ahead and change on the fly from something along the lines of economy to like Super Sport Plus. Well, it takes that lag and delay out of your throttle response, which is typical of these electronic throttle pedals, and essentially eliminates it to the point where it's like, you feel like you have a tuner. It's not actually increasing horsepower, it's actually removing that delay in your throttle. So today we're gonna to install this on, get ready, a Hyundai Tucson, right? We're not expecting that, neither was I. But it's a daily driver, it's got a tremendous amount of lag to it, uh, it's a 1.6 liter turbo, I believe. We'll take it for a smid, feel it, feel it out, and then we're gonna go ahead and put this in and then see what we get for results. All right, we're taking it for a cruise. First off, being a turbo, it's gonna have some lag to it. This, that's inevitable, you're not gonna get rid of that. But as far as throttle response go, it is pretty numb. Yeah, it just, it, it takes a minute to spool up and it's just like, come on, baby. Once it gets going, it's going pretty good, but even just cruising and you're like, all right, yeah, I gotta, I gotta give it some more throttle. It's trying, but it, it is a pretty good delay on that throttle pedal. Let's bring it in the shop, put the pedal commander in, and try it again. All right, first things first, it's in the shop. Two things you're going to want to do on these modern vehicles. Take your key fob and move it away from the vehicle at least 35 feet. Leave the driver's door open for at least 15 minutes to let the ECU fully power down before we unplug that throttle pedal. We'll get right back to you. All right, now that everything's powered down, you're going to lay on your back and be this weird contortionist to find the electronic throttle plug where we're gonna put our plug from the pedal commander in line with that one, route the cables up to a nice place to mount our box. You can control this thing with the box, which personally I like to do. If not, there's an app as well. You simply download and control the whole thing from your phone, which customer will probably opt to do that because most people have their phones with them. All right, guys, in your package, you're gonna have your little pedal commander um, power module, which each one of these, you see economy, city, sport, and sport plus, four settings, plus each four of those settings has eight variables between it. This is a ridiculous amount of almost infinite adjustment on these things. And then your um, completely wire loomed up plug and play system. And then some, I believe an alcohol swab in here as well to go ahead and so you can stick this way you want on your uh, dash or wherever. All right, so this thing you can be controlled manually. It can also be controlled Bluetooth with your phone as mentioned earlier. The customer would like this if possible tucked under the dash completely so they don't even see it. Um, otherwise, you'd want to mount it where you can get access to it and push the buttons. Um, so in order to do that, you've got to pull this back end plate off because you're going to need the serial number on the back of this thing. When you download the app, they're going to ask you for that. I think a six digit serial number. So do that before you tuck it away. Also, when you have it in and on, make sure it is on um, and there'll be a light lit up on it when you go ahead and pair this thing with your phone. You need that serial number right there. So the actual connection to the unit is you locate and unplug your actual um, connector for your throttle pedal, and then you're going to put this one right in line with it. Then you're going to route up your wiring wherever you're going to want to put it so it's away from any linkages or moving parts. And again, you'd like it tucked up out of the way, so we'll be running this thing with the app. All right, if you were controlling it from here, um, you power on with this button, and then you can cycle between the economy, the city, sport, sport plus, and then down here you have eight different ways of controlling each one of those. Um, the app is done literally through the app, so I can't really show you that, but we are going to be testing the app right now to make sure that it is working before we tuck this under his dash. Just took it for a ride, and economy, economy mode, it actually warned you, you sure you want to go into economy mode? Because it actually numbs it down more than it was to begin with, so it's pretty numb. I'm sure it does save some fuel, but in city, you notice a little difference, and then sport, you're noticing the difference, and then like sport plus, pretty big significant difference. Again, not a tuner, but it definitely got rid of that throttle delay. Um, so I think the customer is going to be happy with this. We are an authorized uh, Pedal Commander dealer now, distributor, so we can get them for you and do the install. So hit us up. You want to make that daily ride or vehicle in general, wake up. And yes, if you're wondering, once you get in your car, you need access to turn the Pedal Commander on. No, you can do the whole thing through the app. So it is pretty easy that way as well. And if you're super brave, you can go to super sport plus mode and really get cranking. So if you're looking to improve the throttle response of your ride, check out Pedal Commander. And yes, Flip and Customize, we are a Pedal Commander installer as well as we can get them for you. So hit us up.